So when you're up here, up here in Duluth, Minnesota, you know you gotta, you gotta like to shovel. You're out here doing this all day long here. Got to get a big pile. Oh, lost the pile there. Yeah, it's hard to hold the phone and shovel. So we're gonna go on a little ride here. Here we go, we got, we're picking up the snow and screw it. It's going in the driveway. It's gonna melt. Yeah. All right, so uh, we got a little path here. A little path. I think we'll uh, push a little more snow to make a little more path here. This path neat. Yeah. I, I really like making a path. You see, the whole thing about shoveling snow, you know, getting out here and shoveling off it. You don't want to let the snow pile up. I mean, this could be a good foot of snow out here. This could have been. But see, I, I shoveled this when I got home from work. So now, oh, you know, it's, I don't wear any gloves. That, you know, not in Minnesota. Come on. What do I look like? A, a, a scanny here? So I'm shoveling, you know, enjoying the weather. Enjoying it. I don't look at pictures. Facebook, uh, Hawaii, all that stuff. I just keep on shoveling. Yep. Keep on, keep on shoveling. Just push that snow off the hill, huh? That's what winter's all about. Pushing the snow. Push it down. Hey, we'll, we'll get the step later, you know. Okay. All right, we, we worked a little, <laughs> we worked a little while and got in a little area here now. Got a little area here. Got it. You know, you gotta come, you gotta come back a few times and you even gotta get those little, a little snow that gets stuck cat in the track of your boots. You know, you don't, you don't want to leave that out here. Somebody could slip on that, it could turn harder, you never know what could happen. Okay, we don't want somebody dying here in the winter. Just because it's March, almost April. What do they say, April showers? Oh, here comes somebody. Driving down the road, they probably think I'm really strange out here. Camera, so we'll look down. In Minnesota, we don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. So, yeah, we'll just, we won't film a car. Oh, my, uh, my camera's filling with water here. I don't know, this, this snow is a little wet. She's a little wet down here, you know. Down here by the lake, you can't even see the lake. It's just, it's just snowing nonstop. Well, that's a good three minutes. That's a Minnesota conversation. I better go. You all have a good day and you drive safe, okay? Get there safe. Okay, we got, we got the stairs shoveled. Took a little time. You know, you might, you might notice I'm using this kind of shovel. I got another one here buried in the snow. This one's good for picking up snow, the heavy wet stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, some people, they go out jogging and stuff. Uh, I hear about it, you know, sometimes people want to go jogging down the street, but, uh, yeah, we ain't going jogging today anywhere. <laughs> In Minnesota, this is the workout, the shovel and the snow. We'll do this through May. I'll come back in that episode. Oh, car. Oh. So we're out of here. Alright, here we are, episode three. It's been about five minutes now. <laughs> Everything's buried. We gotta get out old Betty here though. I uh thought I'd add this last video just to include old Betty. You know, sometimes in life God gives you some snow and you got a shovel. Well, you know, sometimes you got to keep a shovel around, you get a little attached to it, you know. And that's what we call old Betty here, you know. Old Betty took a storm this year, it's been a bad winter, and broke. But well, we, got, we got, we got some old uh, curtain rods here, a little duct tape, you know, holding her together. Got her in there. You know, this puppy's stronger than before, but let me tell you, that workout, we were talking about jogging earlier. I lift this thing up a few times. It's about 15 pounds. You know, I'm lifting weights out there. We're gonna 
we're gonna push some snow now with a big Betty here pushing it down into the road cuz you know I push it up in a hill in your own yard get salt on there you know so uh, we're gonna push it out in the road let the plow take her away and then we'll do a cleanup job later all right